Hey YouTube, in this tutorial on GarageBand for mobile devices, I'm going to be showing you how to edit MIDI notes. In the last tutorial, I mentioned that the strings had a couple issues with them, so let's go ahead and take a listen to the strings so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about. So as you can hear, a couple of those notes are kind of lingering a little bit too long and hitting a little early. So we're going to go in and fix the MIDI on those. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And let's focus on section A. To do that, we're going to tap on this plus icon in the top right corner here. And then tap on section A. And tap back on the screen. And that's going to make section A full screen. It'll make editing the MIDI notes a little bit easier because it'll loop back. So let's go ahead and tap on the track of the strings tap again and tap on edit and that will bring us to this screen where we can actually edit the MIDI of the track. You can move around the screen by tapping and dragging your finger. Uh, you can zoom in and out by using two fingers and bringing them closer and farther apart. You can zoom in uh, horizontally as well as vertically and diagonally. So let's get all these tracks into the point where we can uh, see them all and make it editing a little bit easier. Okay and let's bring it back to the beginning and let's hit play. And let's see which notes are giving us an issue here. So in the second chord, um, this note is actually hitting a little bit too late. So let's tap on it to select it. And you can move notes around by selecting them and then dragging them up and down or left or right. Um, so let's, uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. And actually, if you tap and hold on a note, it'll zoom in to make editing a little bit easier. And placing the note. So let's drag it over so it hits about the same time with this note. And this note was also giving us an issue. It was hitting a little bit too early. So let's tap and hold and let's drag it back to about there. And actually, I think it needs to go back just a tad more. All right, right about there should be good. And let's hear how that sounds. So this note's actually playing a little bit too long. So Let's go ahead and stop this and you can change the length of the note by selecting it and then tapping on the right side where you see two arrows pointing to the left and to the right and then you can drag it to the left or the right to change the length. So let's have it end about there, actually a little bit longer should be good. Right about there should be good. Alright, so let's hear how that sounds. So this note is actually playing a little bit too long as well. So we're going to do the same thing with this note. And this note's actually uh, hitting a little bit too late. So we're going to tap on it and let's drag. Let's actually tap and hold so we can zoom in on it and let's make it hit with these other notes. It looks like it's going to be a little too long. All right, this note's actually playing a little bit too long as well. And I think this second chord is actually uh, hitting a little bit too hard. So we're going to select all the notes in the second chord. To do that, you're going to tap and hold anywhere on the screen where there's not a note, and then drag all the notes that you want to select within the box. And we're going to tap again on one of the notes and tap on velocity. And we're going to bring it down to, say, a little bit less than three quarters. And I'm going to do the same for this third uh, chord group here as well. Okay. So that should sound a little bit better. You can actually select multiple notes by uh, tapping on holding on one note and then tapping on the additional notes that you want to select. You can select all the notes within the current view by tapping anywhere on the screen where there isn't a note, tapping on select all. You can uh, cut copy and delete notes by tapping on them and let's go ahead and let's just delete this one and you can uh, copy notes by selecting them and then tapping on cut or copy and then wherever your playhead is up here is where it will be pasted. 
Let's go ahead and paste that there. And let's go ahead and undo all that because that's not really what I want to do. Just showing you how it's done. And so that sounds all right for the strings for now. So now we're going to have to copy that to the rest of the sections. To do that, we're going to hit done up in the top right corner here. And we're going to tap on the track and hit copy. And then you can actually move to the next section by tapping on the screen and dragging to the left. And then we're going to tap again and tap on paste. And we're going to do that for each section. All right. And the drum track is a little bit different than the other tracks. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So we're going to tap on it and tap on edit. And as you can see on the left side, it's a little bit different than the, uh, the other tracks. It actually has a picture of the uh, instrument that you're going to be playing. And you can hear how it sounds if you tap on it. Whereas the other instruments, they have the uh, note, letter, and number um, of what note is actually being played. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to this. Sounds all right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let's play a, uh, let's have a cymbal crash at the uh, beginning of bar 45. To do that, you can draw in a note by tapping on this pencil icon in the top left corner here and then tapping where you would like to the uh, note to be placed. Oh, and you can, if you miss uh, place a note, you can tap on it again to delete it. So it's a good way to just quickly delete or add notes. Um, so right there is where we want it. So let's hear how that sounds. All right, that sounds good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and let's turn the pencil icon off. And if we hit done, it will save our changes. And that's gonna conclude this tutorial on how to edit MIDI notes. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the microphone input, so stay tuned for that.